Psalms chapter 49. Hear this, all peoples. Give ear, all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall give understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb. I will disclose my dark saying on the harp. Why should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity at my heels surrounds me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their souls is costly, and it shall cease forever, that he should continue to live eternally, and not see the pit. For he sees wise men die, likewise the fool and the senseless person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thought is that their houses will last forever. Their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man, though in honor, does not remain. He is like the beast that perish. This is the way of those who are foolish, and of their posterity who approve their sayings. Selah. Like sheep they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall be consumed in the grave, far from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Selah. Do not be afraid when one becomes rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lives, he blessed himself. For men will praise you when you do well for yourself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. A man who is in honor, yet does not understand, is like the beast that perish. Psalms chapter 50 A Psalm of Asaph The Mighty One, God, the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before Him. And it shall be very temptuous all around Him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather, my saints, together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of Goats. Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to declare my statutes? Or take my covenant in your mouth, seeing you hate instruction, and cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you consented with him, 
and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent. You thought that I was altogether like you. But I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God.